Hi, uh, this is Suri. I'm here to explain how to insert the uh, image into database. So we'll see the first how to how we're gonna um, insert the insert the image into database. Sorry for that. Um, first thing we have to take a simple controls, which is I'll go here and I'll choose go to common controls and uh, paste one text box, which is I uh, hold this in the area. And a button, and a, a one more button for me, and just put this way. And the next thing, I'll take one picture box, which I can display the picture. What kind of picture I selected for this? Okay. Now you see the uh, whatever I, I change the image na image button name, sorry, uh, button text. I'll change this one into browse and uh, this one into save and I'll drag one label which is called uh, I'll change this one image part okay now I need to write a code for it. browse button so simply double click on that okay that's good now you see whenever I click on the button it has to open a file dialog so simply write open file dialog or FD equals to new open file dialog that's good FD sorry about that all right dialog result dr is equals to ofd dot show dialog and I'll write f dr equals to dialog result dot cancel I'll say return so it has it has to it has to do nothing whenever it says cancel okay now one more thing I have to do in this area you just filter the files or I need only image image files so I simply write OFT dot filter equals to I'll write uh, image files of I'll write star uh, you can write something like this and put the pipe symbol in this area you simply write star dot jpg uh, semicolon and the star dot png uh, semi semicolon star dot gif I take all these images it, th these are the formats I'm gonna use now now a simple save it now try to execute this one uh, if I execute this one you can see simply a window which already have all the controls so if I click on the browse and it will open this area you see only image files and you can go here you can see only image file not any other kind of files if I go here you only see the image files okay so not any other file any other kind of file so now we'll go here and I'll take the image and you'll see you, you don't see anything because I didn't assign anything so now it is good it's oh, we are only seeing image files now next thing whenever you next assign this picture box dot image is equals to image dot from file so whenever whatever the file name is there simply write OFD dot file name next thing I'll write the text box one text equals to or uh, sorry or uh, d dot file name so if I save the this one and now if you run it and you'll see and now I select the Im particular image uh, open this you'll see the image in the Im picture box and all that you just select the image file and 
uh, go to this arrow click on it and you see size mode and it is normal now this one is make sure it was is a stretch image because whenever you select it it automatically stretch complete to a complete size of picture box so that would be cool now and now I need to create a data like simply create one simple table go to your skill server management studio and uh, connect it yeah so the database go to databases and you'll see simple simple databases and simply I'll create new database which is called uh, image demo okay so uh, image demo sorry about that so you see image demo right click on that tables and say new table and create with that I'll create only two columns which is IMG ID and okay, sorry I create IMG name or you can write a path okay I'll say varchar and varchar uh, 750 you can take that one uh, and say IMG uh, image Uh, image all right and the image okay here in this area you write what which is called image now save this one set as primary key okay now and I need to auto increment this one so go to uh, identity specifications and say yes now save it I'll say TBL IMG okay, save. now I saved my table and I'll just close this one okay now here I go to I just go to server explorer and I'll add and my image demo database so simply go here and write SQL Express now as oh, say ok and now you'll see the database and I'll right click on this and I'll go to properties and you'll see connection string I simply copy that one ok now go to browse and add it here at the top of the page write using system dot data dot SQL client okay now that's good and double click on save and you'll see the say second button even here you write SQL connection see simply write SQL connection CN equals to new kind of SQL connection of the connection string okay I put simply at symbol in front of this and you cannot see the property what kind of thing we are using here it says masters I'm really sorry um, there is this one uh, add one more thing which is called dot SQL so slash SQL X see image that image demo and right click on this you now you can see the image go to properties and get the now you'll see different one now save it now you need to write a simple core wherever you're writing this one you need to convert that image into memory stream so it, it is very simple way to convert it so first you have to write 
um, mem restring ms equals to new memory string so as you see you can see the error simply right click on this and say result and you, you need I you need whenever you're writing a memory stream or streams you ha you need this namespace which is system dot IO now you see I need to convert my image to memory strings so are simple simple you can do it very simply so simply write pick picture box dot image sorry image dot save of it you see it's a it's asking for file name or it's you can see the image stream so simply write ms is my stream comma and it's asking for image format so system system dot drawing dot imaging dot image format dot jp eg so simply select that one select that property and you can see it's a whatever you select a image it will store in the format of jpg okay so next thing you need to assign this as you need you'll create a byte using the memory memory string so simply write byte it's a complete binary data so you simply write pick underscore array equals to new pick sorry byte of uh, what is it? ms dot length so it will take the com length of the memory stream in that it, it will assign to the by byte array length okay so next take the ms position position is zero from the zero it will it will take it will take it from the zero and write ms dot read of writing this one you write pick array comma it asking for offset is zero and int count int count is a pick array dot length length is it will assign the length okay now it will take the length and if you put this uh, now it will completely convert it into byte now you need to store this one in particular place so so before you're doing this you need simply create uh, write the command of SQL SQL command so here write SQL commands and uh, CMD is equals to new SQL command of uh, you, you need a select sorry insert into insert into I am sorry TBL IMG as a table right so if you go that's TBL IMG of IMG path right IMG path and IMG image so comma IMG image so you of values of a right at IMG path comma at IMG IMG image and I select this one comma C and dot open so this is how right Oh, really sorry. 